I gave up $72,000, $72,000. So for uh, those of you that don't know, I was a police officer with the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department for 15 years, uh, 2002 to 2017. Uh, and my top out pay when I left was $72,000. And, you know, I, I run into uh, a lot of old co-workers and everyone always asks me, uh, hey, Jason, do you miss being a police officer? Or some of my friends are like, say, hey, you know, do you, do you ever miss it? You know, it's so exciting, you know, all that stuff. You get to chase people. And, um, and you know, I, I don't miss it, uh, to be honest with you. And um, I just want to take a second and hop on here and, and tell you why I don't miss it and why I love what I'm doing now, uh, which is working at Remax. So um, were, there, were there positive parts of the police department? Absolutely, uh, there were. But you know, there's a lot of, a lot of things that happen that, that people um, don't really, they don't really see the day in and day out of, of police officers and they don't understand all the situations that they go through. So towards the end of my career, uh, maybe about a year before I was done, six months before I was done, somewhere in that time frame, um, there was a one week period um, that was really, really rough, um, if I'm being honest. So uh, in that one week period, uh, I had to, uh, I went on a um, call where a uh, mother, six month old, um, was not breathing and uh, I wasn't very far away and I was the first one to get there and um, I had to give the baby CPR and the baby, the baby died. Um, I don't know and, and it still, <laughs> it still gets me emotional now and it was, this was several years ago. So. Um, you know, the baby wasn't breathing when I got there and I, I gave the baby CPR and the ambulance got there and took the baby to the hospital and the baby didn't make it. And then uh, just a few days later, went on a um, emotionally disturbed party call uh, where somebody that has a mental illness um, was holding a knife to their to their neck, threatening to, to cut their neck and kill themselves. And um, you know, there's, there's lots of different things that you can do in those situations, but there's not a whole lot you can do when they're on the other side of a locked door and you're just, you're just trying to talk to them through a window, um, through like a side window. Um, that one, that one turned out okay. Um, we were able to, to deescalate that situation and, and, uh, get the person the help that they needed and, uh, they did not end up hurting themselves. So, so that was, that was good. Um, and then that very same week, there was a, uh, the call was for an active shooter um, over off like 79th and Troost at, um, I think it was at a 7th Heaven. And uh, me and me and another guy were the very first ones there. And, and we didn't know, we didn't know what was going on. All we knew is that they were getting a lot of, a lot of 911 calls saying that there were shots fired inside of this business. And so we go running up to the door um, a guy comes running out with a gun. We get him taken care of. He was not uh, not the one shooting. Uh, just happened to be in there with a gun. And uh, so we announce ourselves. We hear more gunshots. Um, so so me and this other officer uh, go in. Uh, we, we, we ran in uh, trying to um, just do whatever was needed. And when we got in there, um, there was a couple people that had been shot that were dead. Um, and we literally, one guy had a gun in his hand. So, um, you know, we guessed that he was probably one of the shooters, but we didn't know if there was more. And he had that, that shot that we had heard come to find out later that shot that we had heard when, um, we announced ourselves was literally him shooting himself. Um, he shot himself before we entered the building. Um, he had gone there to kill his girlfriend and had already done that. He had already shot her. Those were the initial calls, uh, ex-girlfriend. Uh, those were the initial calls that we had got. And um, like I said, when when we announced ourselves um, that, w that we were there and uh, told people to come out, he killed himself. And 
uh, we were the first ones in. We had to, um, you know, search the building. We had to see that. We had to search the building, uh, make sure that, that there were no other uh, people with guns in there that were shooting anyone and there wasn't any other parties that needed help. And um, both of those, you know, both him and his ex-girlfriend died. Um, I mean, right, right on the spot. There was nothing that could be due to help him. Um, and, you know, it's, it's stuff like that that people don't see or they don't hear about that officers don't talk about um, that that really take a toll and um, you know it's 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 sure there was there was plenty of times over 15 years where I was able to help people but it's it's situations like that that I absolutely do not miss um, at all and um, again you can you can kind of see me getting emotional on this this happened years ago it's just not something that's talked about and um, so for for those reasons I, I don't miss being a police officer and um, you know I got out of that back in 2017 I started uh, working for Remax in 2016 and I absolutely love what I do now being able to help people um, on a daily basis with uh, finding a property um, that matches their needs or selling a property um, for whatever reason they need to, whether it's they want to downsize or they have to move or, um, you know, they're wanting a, a bigger home or, or whatever the reason is, um, just being able to help people on a daily basis and being able to provide value and, 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 and teaching them um, what, what they need to know to go through that process is it's so awesome. I, I absolutely love it. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to hop on here and, and you know, tell you that quick story. Um, in case you didn't know I was a police officer um, in the past, or if you didn't, uh, if, you, if you found out and, you, and you're wondering why I left that job for this job, um, that's why. So I hope you all have an amazing Sunday, and uh, I will talk to you later. All right, bye.